Devon Franklin has a new love interest and has been seen with her. Yes, a very attractive young lady, in my opinion. The two were spotted out holding hands and eating together, looking intently into each other's face, into each other's eyes, paying attention to the other. I am so happy for Devon moving on. Yes, I am. And y'all, he's looking forward to marriage again. Yes, he spoke with Nick Cannon, yes, on his uh, uh, podcast. He's looking forward to it. His remarks about Megan Good were so beautiful, y'all. Yes, his remarks show that he is an awesome man of God and man of faith. Yes. He says that his love, or that love, period, y'all, now, this is true, because love is eternal, and that's what he said, and we know that to be so, because God is love, God is eternal, so this is what he says concerning his love uh, for making good, love is eternal, and he will continue to want nothing but the best for his ex-wife, Megan Good. Now, y'all, that is love, okay? Y'all know that with such an heart of gold like that, Devon Franklin's next marriage, yes, his next marriage, and possibly the lasting marriage, because with a heart like that, this marriage will be beautiful. This marriage will be wonderful. This marriage, I will say, in my opinion, according to Devon's own words, to me, this next marriage will be eternal because this man is truly a man of God, a man of faith, a man of love. Yes. So I am just so happy to see this. He deserves this. And this is what he will be so eternally in awe about. Because he learned so much in his marriage to Megan Good. Even being a man of the cloth, a man of the ministry, he himself admitted that he had some things to learn. And he learned so much from that first marriage, y'all. He benefited so much in in his, his state of... Uh, emotions about things and his state of of knowledge about things and about love and specifically about God. And you know, I will venture to say that he knows now that what he required of God in the beginning was exactly what God was giving him, okay? However, he decided to throw his list away. And think about that. Y'all, we ask God for things. We have our checklist. And then God is having that thing for us. But what do we do? We all of a sudden, we cow down to society's expectations to say oh you you expecting too much on your list and you got too much and we listen to that and we throw away the list which is what he did with uh his first marriage and he'll tell you that he he didn't he didn't go by what he had presented to god god was going by that but then he said okay i'll do the i'll i'll take this god i said okay and y'all 
we've got to continue to hold fast to what we have desired. And yes, it's okay to have your checkpoint. Stop listening to society. You can have your checkpoint. If you've given that to God, God is giving that to you. So, you all, through it all, he still learned something. He learned so many wonderful things because you know, as that word says, all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. So while Devon may have thrown his first list away when it came to Megan, it's okay because he learned so much from that. He is a better man as a result of it. So it's okay. But don't get uh, tied up with society telling you, throw your list away. You, you, you're expecting too much. No, God is the God of too much. El shoddy I, the more than enough God. He is the God of too much. You are never expecting too much when you have a father, God, who is the El Shaddai, I, almighty God, more than enough. So congratulations, Divine Franklin. So happy for you.